Welcome back to United Acres. My name is Tony. This is the introductory video to our herb workshop. Our herb workshop is going to be a five part series and videos are going to be released every week. In this video, we're just going to give a brief overview of what the workshop is going to cover so that you know what you're getting before you register. The registration link will be in the description box, so make sure that you sign up today. We're going to start by identifying which herbs you should be growing. It's extremely important to know why you want to use herbs and what you want to do with them before you start growing or going to purchase herbs and processing them. It'll help you identify which herbs are going to best suit your needs, whether it be medicinal or if you just want to make tea, hand salves, body butters, oils, whatever your needs might be. It'll guide you to the right herb for you. Then we're going to go over harvesting herbs, how to harvest them, digging up roots and hand harvesting, picking, cutting, different tools that you can use to best accomplish that job. And also some tips and tricks on how you can plant certain herbs that will make it easier for you in the harvesting process. Something like burdock where you need to get a complete root will give you some tips on how to plant them in the beginning that will make it easier when you're harvesting later. Once we get through the harvesting, we're going to talk about processing. And our processing begins with drying or using the herbs fresh, whether you need to cut, chop them, powder them, however you're going to be using them. We're going to go over different tools and things that you can use, different ways to process things into powders, or if we're going to use them fresh or drying. That is going to be a very long video that we might break up into two sections because there's so many different ways to accomplish these things. Finally, we're going to go over producing the herbs, meaning putting them into usable forms, be that spices, hand salves, if we're going to make things like sage sticks um, or powders, however you're going to use the product. We're going to go over that in the last stage of the workshop. We're hoping that this video is going to be really helpful for people that want to get into using herbs that they're growing. They're not sure how to cook with them, how to make them into teas, should you use them dry or fresh, which are the best herbs to use, the most powerful herbs. Uh, we're going to talk about some common herbs as well as some medicinal herbs and herbs that you haven't thought about. So, Stick along with us. Remember to click that registration link below to register for the five-part workshop. And we'll see you soon.